Hello everybody, Brent Guy here, and welcome back to the chunk. Alright, so today we're going to be building my mob farm. Alright, so this is just a grinder. Uh, it's not an XP farm, but you could turn it into an XP farm. Um, pretty much well by removing the lava blade and then um, extending this part right here to 23 blocks high as to oppose to the 14 that it is now. And then you would have to add some buttons and um, either ladders or vines. So that way it would slow the descent of the mobs. But that's something else I can do in another video maybe. But today we're just going to be building the mob grinder section. Alright, so me, first of all, I suggest that you go up to at least 170, 180 before beginning this platform. That way you get a lot better uh, spawn rate from your uh, your spawner up here. Alright, so once you've made it up to 170, 180, don't go higher than 180 because you might uh, run out of room. And then uh, if you're over like 256, well nothing spawns over 256, so you'd be just kind of like wasting your time. Alright, so once you get to the top, you're going to build yourself a nice little 8x8 eight eight square. Alright, now in the back, we're just going to build like a, another small little section right here of uh, walls. Alright, just kind of go around, so 1, 2, 3 from the edge on both sides is where you would put that one, and then there, and there, and then it goes up 14. Now I'm just trying to do this to save a little bit of time, so at any point in time, do pause it and uh, do what I tell you to do. <laughs> Alright, so once you go 14 up from, uh, we'll start on this side, and the other side's pretty much all the same thing, it's a mirrored uh, image. So you'll go up 14, then you'll go over 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks, and uh, making sure this is uh, a 2 wide, because this is where our, our bits are going to go through there, our mobs. So then uh, once you've done your 2x4, then you're going to go and jump up two more and keep it two wide. And then from this block, I believe you're going to go over nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And then you're going to go one, two, three, and it'll be like, well, three up from that one right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total in length here and remember keeping it too wide and then once you've done the seven there you can go up one, two, oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six and well actually you can go five for now we'll just leave those two out and then this is where your other platform is going to be but first we'll go over here and we'll do the other side together so once you've gone up 14, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, so you have a 2 by 4, then you go up another 2, and then over another 9, then up another 3 from the 9th, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, again, and then join the same thing up on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So then that way you have that right here. Now, coming off of the lip that you just created here, you're going to leave a space, and you're, you're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we'll just uh, get rid of these two here. 5 there. And obviously, I'm going to have to get rid of these two for now. Then that way, you got a nice little L shape here like this. Then we'll just jump onto the other side here and keeping one block of space over four and then up five once again I'll just get rid of these for now we'll end up putting them back later but it'll just help you keep kind of reference of where you have to go so remember um, now that you have your two L's done I guess one's a backwards one's a forward one now we're going to need to finish off the divider here so keeping a space in between your L's or the backward L you're going to want to go the same height and then just bring it up five. Alright, make sure you keep all this too wide. Alright, uh, it'll be the same for the other side. It'll just keep a block space in between and then you'll go up five. So then, those are that's 
that divider section done and then this divider section is done and then we'll just start working on the middle here so now from above your hole you're gonna wanna go and leave a one block space okay in between and then build it up two and over two more on both sides so that way you kinda have this so your platform is one two three four five six long by two and then underneath these kind of help to like to uh, I don't know do nothing at the moment. <laughs> um, so that's that, uh, and then right above it, you're gonna leave a block space, okay? And then um, you'll know you're doing this right because you're gonna be overlapped by one over here. So if that was six, then this should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're overlapped on both sides. And then here, well, this is where it changes a little bit. Um, you don't need those two blocks, so don't put those two blocks in. That was just kind of like a reference of where you could put your water here or here. Uh, but we're not there yet. So now that you've um, gotten this done, all right, we're going to go and we're going to put a back wall on it because you're going to need kind of a back wall. Now, you don't have to uh, make it all nice and fancy. You just got to close it off so that way mobs will kind of follow your tunnel that you're building okay and the same thing goes for here and we'll just close it in like there's really um, there's really like not hard to do I did it on my survival and it works really really well so we'll just continue uh, closing this and make sure that there's a sealed wall here and this one we can close off too that's perfect and that's closed off and we're gonna have to keep going this little thing like that all the way here like this and close it all off now the front part I'm going to do in glass so that way you can kind of see what's going on now you can leave this blank or you can fill it in it's your choice um, me I'm just going to leave it the way it is does it really matter? and then just close it off like this I guess and we'll do the same thing on the other side there we go alright so we'll go finish our wall back here da, 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 da. and we'll stay within the limits of our our dividing cells that we created here <clears throat> alright almost done almost done now the front part's a little bit easier to do. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing you're gonna have to do, but I do it like this because we're gonna have to uh, install our lava blade now. So now you can see that it's all walled off, and you got the same pattern as you had before, and all is dandy. So now let's uh, do this lava blade section right here. All right, I have everything up here. Alright, so off of this right here, you're going to want to put a sign here, and a sign here, and then a sign here, and a sign there, and then we'll just uh, encase this in right now, so you can uh, all see what's going on here, and then I'll leave it like that for the moment. Alright, so for in the middle, this is where your uh, lava is going to go. So you're going to need four lava source blocks. And we'll just close this off right quick. And probably going to oh, that's not bad. That will go away quick. So now you got your lava blade. So now when the mobs come down, they're going to go here, and they're going to go in, and they're going to try to swim up, but they're going to get stuck, and they're going to die. 
and their drops are going to go down here. And it's going to be the same thing on the other side. Um, so we'll just add a wall here for now. Now you're going to need some water here and here. And this will carry it right to the end. Same thing on the other side over here. And like I said, this is the most complicated part of the build. Uh, it's just the lava blade aspect of it all. Are you going to go away soon? Because you're kind of annoying. Alright, um, I'm going to go here. We'll finish off this little section. Oh, interesting. You don't have to glass everything in, but I'm going to glass a good portion of this in. Just what you need, like where the glass would be, um, you would just put normal blocks if you don't want to see glass. Like, um, Then, you're going to want to put a sign, uh, where is it there? Probably be just as best if we did it like that. And then, oh, no, come here. Thank you. Uh, here and here. And then you're going to want to place two source blocks. Try to place them kind of like roughly in the middle. Do your best. You know, no one's perfect, right? And then you're going to have this going. So that way your mobs are coming here and they're getting pushed off. Alright, so that's that aspect. And then we'll just close this off. Now that we're done with it. Like I said, this is the most hardest part of the build. The rest of it's pretty easy, so. Uh, we'll just go like that. We need a sign here and a sign here. Alright. And then we'll just enclose this. And then you're going to need water source, water source. And then it's going to stop there. Same thing here, two buckets. And then you're going to have this right here. And this is what's going to kind of funnel all your mobs down into one spot. Oh, now we can close this all off, because we're done with it. And then we're going to go to the other side. So, only one little section left. Uh, we'll put a sign here, and a sign here. We'll glass that off. And same thing on the other side. Oop. Go uh, source block, source block. Uh, two more here, and then now we can close it all off. Get over and done with. <coughs> there. So that's your grinding system done. Now, if you don't want any mobs spawning in here, then I suggest you grab like a half slab, or you can light it up. It's your choice. Whatever you prefer. Now, if I could just get this right, there we go, perfect. So if you half slab these right here, then you won't have any problems with any mob spawning. And you're going to need half slabs for this build anyway, so it works out pretty good. So there you go. There is your grinding section done. Now, you're getting kind of annoying here, so I'm just going to get rid of you myself. There we go. And doo -doo. sorry for uh, this little added extra crap scene. But anyways, it doesn't matter because you're gonna have to put something there anyways, and that should disappear on its own. So there we go. Um, oops, I forgot to put the glass in here. My bad. My bad. And then you're going to need water here and here. Uh, I'll have to just get rid of these two for now. Put a sign here. A sign here, here and here. And there. And then I guess we could put these two back now. Go like this. Water, water. And you're done. And you can just close all that up. And there you go. 
Alright now, so now we're going to start working on the actual cells where the mobs will uh, breed in and, well not breed, but spawn in and die. Alright, so now this is your fifth block. Remember what I told you to go up on? Okay. And then now you're going to want to have to build like kind of like this rectangular, rectangular shape of the same size of your whole build so far. Okay. Then once you've got that done, you're going to want to put a block on each corner. <clears throat> this is where your tripwire is going to be connected to with the, the hooks, okay? And then the build for the actual spawner is uh, three blocks wide on each side. Just like so. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Awesome. All right, now I'm just going to go and grab the rest of my stuff I'm missing here. I don't need this anymore, nor that. And I think I'm good with this. All right. Like I said, the most of this is going to be um, building blocks because uh, it's quite, uh, quite a lot of building blocks you're going to need. All right. So those are where your hook, uh, tripwire hooks are going to go. Now we're going to build a wall here, and actually, yeah, this one is empty, sorry, and then that one goes out, so make sure you leave a space there, and then this like that, and then we build it up one more here, and then from the other side, I like working from the back, it's a... Uh, a little bit easier, I find. And then leave a space. And go like that. So these cells, just to let you know, are only 12 long. And I did it like that for 12 long, so that way you didn't have to uh, build any repeaters. Um, and it's just redstone that you're going to need. So we'll build that wall up just like this. Now we can take our pistons. And we can add our pistons here. That's another thing you're going to need a lot of is pistons. Depending on how many cells and stuff like that you're going to want to build. And like I suggest, I, I suggest only you build six. Because after that I think it's kind of a waste. Um, and then there we go. And then now our redstone. So you're just going to want to take redstone like this. Wrap it up and around. Same on the other side here. And go down like this. And now we can add our tripwire. And as you see, mobs will spawn. And they'll get pushed off right into our system. And then that's that. So now, we can put our next level we're going to start on our next level now. I'm going to build a few of these with you. And you can pretty much well get the drift on how this is going to work out. Because it's pretty easy to do. Alright, so now that we have our wall done. Now there's something that you need to know about mobs. They need an air block space. Okay, and the tripwire actually does classify as an air block space. It doesn't count as a full entity where, you know, like it's it's taking up the block space because a mob will spawn directly on top of the string and fall kind of down onto it. So you're going to want to leave them a just a too wide or a too high, sorry, uh, space here. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Oops. Just like that. So now, as you can see, this would be your second, your second cell that you'd be starting right here. And then you have your tripwire hooks. And then there you go. Now, you're going to need a half slab here. Okay, and half slab here, and then we can add our b blocks, our building blocks, and then you're going to want a half slab, oops, not that one, 
this one right here and bring your building blocks over and half slab this one right here and then we could just add building blocks on top of here and as you can see it's starting to look like the same thing as we had before so building blocks half slabs there and there and the only reason why these half slabs are there is because if you didn't have them there's a two wide block here space and a mob could spawn right here and it would screw up everything on your mob farm and then things just wouldn't uh, wouldn't be right there you go like this I really should move that half slab that's okay and then we pretty much will start all over again. And then you can go like this. Skip one, because that's where your redstone goes. And then come up another one here at the back. Pistons alongside here. Building blocks in the front. Uh, redstone here. And we can add our, our string for the tripwire. And that's that side done. And we would do the other side. Leave the block space. And there we go. Gold block up. Pistons alongside here. And then we got more blocks in the front. Your redstone. And there we go. So that's pretty much well it. <coughs> and then you would go up again. Like this. Leaving that two block space for them. There we go. And we'll build that two block space again. And then rinse and repeat. Oop, wrong one. Just like that. See, and then you would just continue that pattern until you had all your cells built in. So, that's pretty much well it. Um, and now I'll go ahead and I'll build the rest of these. And I'll see you when we're all done. So, see you in a few minutes. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I did one, two, three, four, five, six cells. So, we now have six cells completed. Now we're going to build a roof on it. So this is how you build the roof of your um, your mob farm. And you're going to want to put a half slab here, just like before. And then you're going to want to put a half slab here. That way uh, no mobs are spawning, right? That's very important for us that no mobs spawn on the outside of this thing. Because they will totally screw everything right up. Alright. So we'll put our half slab here, and we'll put another one right here, and then we can wall all this off. So half slab, brick, half slab, and then we'll close this off. So we got half slab, brick, half slab, just like that. Looking good, looking good. Alright, so now that we have this right here, so now you got your one, two, and then this would be your roof. Okay. So we close all that off. Making it all nice and dark in there. And then we're just going to half slab all of this. And that way it keeps it nice and dark inside. And then your mobs can spawn in there and you can collect all the rewards for just standing there and not doing absolutely nothing. Doesn't that feel good? 
do nothing but be rewarded. And there you go. It's got all your sides done. Everything's half slabbed and whole nine yards. So now you just gotta take that and build it there two more times. And then you will be done your entire build. I'm not gonna go ahead and do the other two because uh, it's just a tutorial and that was the main important part right here was uh, that and then I went through this whole aspect of it with you. So if we look down here Oh, I had a mob spawn in here. We'll just get rid of you. Come on, die. Die. Fall off the edge then. There, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to add some lighting down here. Just that way nothing's spawning here with me. And it's all just kind of like spawning up there. And we'll just uh, get rid of that. And, that. and we'll just close this back up. You know, and as you see, you got a mob that died. They're going to go there and they're going to constantly die. But you're going to have a little bit of a difference here because of all the mobs here. So it's not like the best example to show you. Um, but I did showcase this many times before. And as you can see, your mobs are going to go through here. They're going to fall down. It's the same thing that's going to happen here, too. Your mobs will go and, yeah, sure, they might fight the current. It's all a little bit normal. Um, and then they should just die. There we go. Et voila. But when you got, like, a lot of them in there, they seem to push each other through a lot better than uh, that guy just trying to fight the current to get away. But other than that, that's it. So I hope you all like this little uh, mob farm idea that I got. And that's it. So everybody, have a great day. Peace. Take care. And we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.